let's do it. Let's get it over with. Let's try and beat someone. Anyone. I don't care who it is. Uh, we can't keep this hand. Not enough lands. Never enough lands. Also, I kind of short some lands. This hand would be dope, though. Like, looting into some hollow ones. Let's just keep mulliganing. Let's just see where that gets us. Sure, let's keep that on top. <laughs> let's see what our opponent's playing and then concede, I guess, because it is one of those nights. Misty Rainforest, I like it. That's a new one. Search for tomorrow. All right, so we have an idea of what's happening. Since they have Misty... Are they, are they like blue scape shifts? Nope, just red green. Here you go, have a Bayloth. I mean, their hand was bad, but I don't think I was going to win anyway. All right, Bolts, you're out. Uh, the cut can probably stay. I think the brutalities are alright. Maybe slow them down a little bit. Maybe two brutalities. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. This is not a great hand. It is not great, let me tell you. Uh, should I fetch? I should probably fetch. Generally, thinning your deck doesn't do a lot. Like, if you were playing, like, 20 planes, for example, you would not play, like, 8 or 12 fetch lands, or at least it would not be recommended, because over the course of a game, uh, you're going to lose a lot of life, and uh, you are not necessarily going to increase the density of, like, your ability to draw spells all that much. However... I think this deck goes through enough cards, like, it wouldn't be uncommon for me to go through 30 cards, where, like, thinning uh, one land out of my deck actually helps a reasonable amount. Okay, so we can, we can looting Hollow One, but are we going to have something that is going to be able to bring back our Vengevine? Uh, because if not, we should probably wait. But... If we do find a Death Shadow, we could just sack the Neonate and then just cast the Death Shadow and have it die. Right? So. Maybe I'm supposed to wait a turn. What are you doing over there? Nothing. That's what I thought. Ooh, Blood Moon. Well... This is my chance to play Hollow One. So I think I'm just going to do it. And then I can moon him next turn with five points in play. That should be... Should be alright. Maybe they just play a 6-6 six, six or a Bayloth and stop me in my tracks. Who knows? Who knows? All right, well, we got that cut. That's good. I got a Facebook message from one Joe Bass. And I like Joe, so I'm going to read it. Blood Moon. Your turn. Why does it separate my mountains? Is that a bug or a feature? Well, now they're now they're together. All right, let's just do this a bunch, I guess. So I need to keep that cut. So I guess we loot. That's what we wanted.
Roar, monster. Come on, let me get one. Yeah, murderous cut. I'm, I'm gonna cut the 6-6. Six, six. Maybe. You might just not have a second green source, actually. <laughs> yeah! We did it. Alright, well now they know what I'm up to. They're gonna bring in some graveyard hate. Should we bring in some grudges? Are they gonna, like, chalice me? Do they play chalice anymore? I don't think they do. I'm gonna bring in some grudges. Oh, so many monsters. Ew. Keep it. Bottom. Okay, okay. Could maybe do a little something with that. We'll see. Um... If I fetch, it'd be for Overgrown Tomb, which could potentially mess me up if I, like, loot into a Neonate. So I'm just going to do this. Please don't have three Baylots. Summoning Trap, Combustible Gear Hulk. I, I would have bet money that those cards were not in my opponent's deck. Both of them. You could have made a lot of money off me. All right, let's take the Gear Hulk... And then let's lock him on a trap mana with our blood moon. Let's go from there. Okay, still can't still can't cast any spells. Cool. A player's time. Okay, cool. Tracker. That's a magic card. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take it all. Taking it all. Could be a big mistake. We'll see. I want a big Death Shadow this turn, though, so I can actually block. Tracker's certainly one way to beat to beat the Blood Moon. Man, their Tracker might outpace my Death Shadow. It's kind of absurd. Well, might be able to get him with the Street Wraith. We'll see. It's probably a pretty good draw. Yeah! Oh, come on! Oh, they have a Summoning Trap. Right. Right. Yep, that was what I needed. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, actually I didn't need a land. No, okay, I was I was actually fine. Either way. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> sure, man. GG's, GG's. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is the deck I played. 
Uh, I don't think it's very good. I don't know. If, if I can play like eight Venge Vines and eight Hollow Ones, then maybe. But like right now, the rest of this deck just doesn't do anything. So I'm off it. Uh, <laughs> hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, I think I'm taking a couple weeks off because I'm going to be testing for Worlds. And then certainly uh, when I'm done with that, I'll be back home uh, making some more content. And then that feeds into U.S. Nationals, which feeds into PT Albuquerque. So uh, should be some, some fun, exciting times. And like Ixalan will be out on standard, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me for a little bit. And yeah, by all means, check out Star City Games' uh, YouTube page for more content like this. Uh, except, you know, there's probably people doing a little bit more winning than I did today. But, you know, whatever. We still learn stuff, so it's all good. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and everyone have a good one.